five quick online features you are not using but should. Number one, rules. Rules are an amazing time saver. They help you with repetitive transactions. So if you're using the same vendor for same type of stuff again and again, rules can help you categorize those transactions much faster instead of you having to do it one by one. Now, how do you create rules? I'm going to put a link up in the description and you can see the detailed video on how to create rules. But for now, keep in mind, uh, create rules for as many expenses as you can. But word of caution, do not select the auto add option when you're creating your rules because rules can be incorrectly applied by QuickBooks Online, even if you have set them up correctly. Okay, so no number two is group or ungroup transactions. How do you do that? See how my transactions show up randomly based on based on description but i can't really group them watch what happens now when i click on here settings and i click on turn on grouping now they are grouped together if i just click on bank detail see all my uber each transactions are together i can select them i can click on edit edit them together and accept all of them at once and you know what and my rules are applied i know these rules are correct and I could simply select them and accept them from here. Now I'm done with five transactions in a few seconds. Number three, number of transactions. So let's say I have these Uber Eats transactions instead of five transactions, I had like hundred something transactions, right? So let's uncheck this first. Okay, so what I do is I would click on settings and I would make sure that I select the maximum number of transactions on one page. This way I can see all the transactions on the same page and if there are transactions for any kind of any certain vendor which are overflowing to the next page, then I don't have to go to next page and I can just select them on the same page. Number four, filter. You can filter transactions here for money in and deal with those. Money out, deal with the, you just have same type of transactions, either money in or money out. And you could do the ones with the rules as well. So all the rules transaction, just glance over them quickly and see if they're all correct, just click here and accept all of them at once. See, you're done with so many transactions at once. Now, last one, uh, history. How does it work? You click on any transaction. If you have that transaction already in QuickBooks, you can click on categorization history as long as you have the vendor selected. And this is gonna show you how it was entered last time. It shows me website expenses, how I entered it last time. So I can assign category and that's it. So then you add it. So that's it. Happy accounting.